Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to another episode of the Emulator Review. I am Jason Heine. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I'm coming at you with a, uh, another part in my arcade overview, and I'm going to be showcasing my Killer Instinct 2 dedicated cabinet. Let's go over and take a look. So, I got Killer Instinct 2 at the same time I got my Killer Instinct machine over here. I got them at the same time and it just kind of happened that way. <clears throat> I was actually in search for the mother load over here. I really wanted this one. And the guy that I bought this cabinet from had Killer Instinct 2 as well and he asked me if I was interested in it and I told him no I wasn't even though I really really was. And um he said, well, I'm moving, I need to move these machines, I can't take them with me, please make me an offer. And truth be told, I, I told him that I don't want to make him an offer because I don't want to insult him, I know what the cabinet is worth. I said I'm not interested in it and I just, you know, it, it's going to be a ridiculously low offer and I don't want to insult him. And that was true, I mean, I, 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 I do want it, but... I wasn't going to pay, you know, an outrageous amount for it. And I made him a very, very low offer, and he took it. And so, I paid more to have it shipped here. <laughs> but that's, that's the way it goes. So anyway, I picked up the KI2 cabinet, and I was really, really happy with this. Uh, when I did get the cabinet, though, the monitor wasn't working. So, um, he showed me pictures before he shipped it, it was working. So something happened during shipping. Uh, that, that messed up the monitor board. Come to find out, it was a bad solder. A, a cold solder on the monitor board that made the uh, monitor not work. But ended up fixing that, and it's uh, ready to rock. So, like all the other games that you've seen, I, I went ahead and replaced the marquee with a new old stock marquee up there. I put a, a, a white LED light behind it to uh, backlight it there. It looks really nice and sharp. Um, went through and replaced the, the CPO control panel overlay here with a new plexiglass as well as the uh, uh, the buttons here uh, all brand new hap uh, buttons brand new hap eight-way joystick new start buttons white start buttons and then of course like the rest of them I polished it all off with stainless steel screws all the way around I just think it looks really really nice cleans up really nice um, this game was in immaculate shape. Uh, this game is pretty much all original. I, I didn't have to do anything to it. Side art's beautiful. Everything on it is just immaculate. Um, there's no dents, dings, scratches. It's it's really clean. I'm very very lucky. You know, not that I'm opposed to having a cabinet that does, but I just got really lucky here. Um, even more so lucky because this one was a working game in an arcade, and you can tell that some arcades have this down here. They actually put like a, a, a bolt through there that actually goes on and locks the coin door on there so that people can't tamper with the lock or bust the lock and steal all the money. So this one actually has that there. I, I took the eye bolt out and I haven't filled that yet. I, I don't think I showed it on my MK, but this one had both sides punched and it had a bar. You can see the, actually the scratches there in there but you see right there that bolt and that bolt it had a bar went completely across it so it was you know completely blocked off so I put bolts in there covered it up black so you can't really see so I mean that was definitely working arcade my KA1 does not have that at all as we saw in the last video I don't think this was ever in an arcade luckily and then so but KI2 does have that so it was a working game but all in all, really, really good shape. It's completely uh, original. Uh, I haven't modified this at all other than <clears throat> replacing the marquee, the LED light, all the new buttons. Uh, everything else is, is really, really good. KI2 wasn't as popular as the first Killer Instinct just because, well, timing came out in 96. And in 1996, we had, well, Nintendo 64 that was rolling out. There was a lot going on in the arcades too. Games were really advancing. And the fighting genre was really blowing up and plus this game had a more complex combo system so much in fact that the games included this uh, 
from factory. They talked about how the auto double system works, a little explanation about how the combo system works, and not only that, at the bottom it has all of the moves. If I can get that in focus here, it has all the moves for every character right here on the bottom. So, you know, it, it was just a more complex game, and I think a lot of people just kind of got turned off by it. I, I know it wasn't as popular as, you know, Older Brother over here, for sure, but still a really, really great game. This game is only available here in the arcade. It was never ported to a home console. Oh, I just wanted to say that for a minute, to hear all you guys scream and shout. That is true, actually. It was never ported Killer Instinct 2. It was, however, ported to the Nintendo 64 called Killer Instinct Gold, which basically is an exact exact port of this game. It's rebranded, it has training, practice mode. You can do unlimited combo hits on them, air juggles, all sorts of things. It's actually a really, really good game. And we originally were gonna get KI on the 64, that never happened, so they ported that to the Super Nintendo. And they thought, well, here we are, 96, the console's finally released. We're not gonna go backwards, we're gonna go forward. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really wish they would've went backwards and ported the original KI for the 64, but that's just me. Anyway, great game, a great arcade. I'm really, really happy to have the family here. And they just, they're just amazing. They look so good together. And, you know, it's, uh, well, I mean, what can you say? It's, it's a great game. Really, really enjoy it. Love the music. It's so good, so good. This was a big uh, sex sells type of a game too. They had Maya, Orchid. They really made them very uh, well, well endowed, if if I must say. But great game, great great music in the game, great combo system. My one-handed play. So, yep, that's Killer Instinct 2 right there. Pretty nice. Real standard here. I didn't modify really this at all. Kind of wanted to keep it, you know, dedicated and uh, with my little flair on it here and there. And it's great. Playable. Love it. So, next video, I'm going to focus on Tetris. And then it's going to be virtual racing. So, thanks for hanging out, you guys. And we will catch you another time.